London is the capital of the UK, containing a population of over 9 million people. This is without doubt the largest and most densely populated area in the country. The city has a long history, stretching back to the Roman invasions almost 2,000 years ago. Throughout its history, many sinister stories have been told, from serial killers such as Jack the Ripper terrorising Victorian London, to the devil dancing through its streets, leaving a trail that could be followed for miles and hundreds of eyewitnesses. However, one area may have the most consistent and varied stories attached to it, the Tower of London. The Tower of London is one of the most famous landmarks throughout the UK. Attracting more than 3 million visitors each year, however many of these tourists will not be aware that this landmark has been in existence since William the Conqueror built the original after the Battle of Hastings. The tower took around 20 years to build, being completed in 1090, with the tower being further adapted in the 13th century to include the defensive walls surrounding the main building. The tower also controlled the supply of the nation's money. All coins in the realm were made at the Tower Mint from the reign of Edward I until 1810. Kings and queens also locked away their valuables and jewels at the tower, and even today, the crown jewels are protected by a garrison of soldiers. However, the most infamous use of the building was as a royal prison. For over 800 years, the tower was used in this fashion, becoming the main state prison during the Tudor era, with many famous historical figures such as Lady Jane Grey, Sir Walter Riley, and Guy Fawkes all serving time in the tower. However, even up until the 20th century, the tower continued to be in use with German spies being shot within the complex as late as the First World War. Due to the complicated and often bloody history of the tower, many visitors and staff have reported unusual incidents throughout the tower grounds. One of the most infamous ghosts reported is that of Lady Anne Boleyn. Although Anne Boleyn was only married to Henry VIII for three years, her impact on English history cannot be understated. She has since become one of the more famous wearers of the country. Unfortunately for Anne, she was beheaded at the Tower of London on the 19th of May 1536 after charges of adultery. Throughout the years, she has become one of the most famous ghosts often being seen on the Tower Green where she was killed, or in the chapel located within the White Tower praying. The most shocking aspect of the spectre is that she still appears to be missing her head. One of the most shocking ghost stories relating to Anne is that of a captain of the guard who saw a light shining through the locked Chapel Royal late one night. While investigating the light, he was met with an unbelievable scene unfolding in sight. A group of knights and high-class ladies dressed in medieval attire were pacing throughout the chapel. While the captain was observing this scene, he noticed their leader, though their face was obscured, had a striking resemblance to the portraits of Anne located throughout the tower. Although unfortunately, before he could assemble more of the guard, the group had completely disappeared. However, this is not the only well-documented occurrence of Anne appearing to one of the guards on duty. In 1864, a soldier on duty near the lieutenant's lodging made another sighting of Anne's ghost. He reported to have confronted and challenged a white figure and when receiving no response, he struck his bayonet into the figure. Although shockingly, the weapon went straight through the woman. Although this time, while submitting his report, an officer was on hand to confirm his claim after viewing the incident take place from the bloody tower. Another victim of Henry, who reappears at the tower from time to time, is Margaret Pole, Countess of Salisbury, who is said to reenact her own execution. She went to the block in 1541, but apparently tried to escape, running towards the tower green several times before the executioner caught her and finally cut her head off. Since this date, many while walking through the tower will see a woman in historical apparel run past them frantically trying to escape an unseen force chasing behind them. The ghost of curator, explorer and writer Sir Walter Riley has also been spotted at the tower. Sir Walter Riley was beheaded on the 29th of October 1618 after imprisonment in the Tower of London later becoming an English martyr and viewed as a national hero due to his death being believed to have been used to appease the Spanish for an attack coordinated by Sir Walter. Since this date, many guards have reported seeing the ghost of Sir Walter roaming the castle, often headless and holding his head within his hands, leaving a trail of blood behind him. One historical account has it at 3am on a cold night in January 1893, a guard named Godson was assigned to the traitor's gate from midnight to 4am. At 310 a gunshot could be heard echoing throughout the tower. When the other guards reached the traitor's gate, they saw Godson pointing a gun at a figure next to a large cart. The figure wore a common attire from between 1400 to 1600. This figure was seen to be walking towards Godson. Godson reportedly shouted at the figure to halt while cocking his gun for a second round. 
However, this is when the onlookers realised the creature was holding its own head within its arms and had blood dripping from its mouth. Accordingly, Godson did manage to fire his second shot at the creature before passing out and the figure disappeared. Old Martin was a large grizzly bear given in 1811 to George III by the Hudson Bay Company and hosted at the Tower of London until 1832, where after this was moved to the London Zoo due to the closure of the Royal Mandarin. However, the oddest part of the story was a ghostly figure appeared to have existed while Old Martin was alive. In 1816, a yeoman warder on night duty saw a ghost bear near the Martin Tower and Terrified, he struck at it with his bayonet, only to find it went right through and stuck into the door behind him. It was said the guard died of shock a few hours after. However, this is the only recorded instance of an apparition while the subject was alive recorded within the tower. In 1483, two young princes were murdered within the tower. Edward and his younger sibling Richard, Duke of York, this murder is still unsolved to this day, however many believe Richard III, who was appointed as Lord Protector while Edward came to age, murdered them both to secure his seat on the throne. Since this date, the shadowy figures of two children, often holding hands, are a relatively common sight throughout the White Tower, often drifting between rooms and passing through walls. The princes are often seen wearing their white nightshirts and have also been sorted playing on the battlements, with the sound of their laughter often echoing throughout the castle. Thank you for your time today. I've had a blast researching this subject and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Have you got any stories of being within the Tower of London? Please mention these in the comment and also be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this to come. Thank you.